Class example one, master file changes, describe the application controls that need to be present in order to add a data to the data's master file. So guys, this is a purely theory question. You've got to consider all the application controls that would be necessary to input a change of master file into a system. Guys, application controls include both the manual and the computer information system around the inputs of data into the system. So, my first controls, the manual, I need to make sure that there is a pre-numbered master file amendment form. And then, to make sure that it is valid, I need to ensure that it is authorized. So the master file amendment form should be authorized by a sales manager because we're doing debtors. Now I've got those manual controls ready. Now it needs to get into the system. So now I've got to have those computer application controls. So the first thing is, who's going to put this detail into the system? You need to have the correct people, the authorized people. So it needs to be a username and password restricting access to the master file and as soon as I talk about username and passwords I have to discuss the two additional controls so there should be a timeout facility so after so it logs off access after inactivity and then there should be a log out or shut down after unsuccessful attempts. Because that could be somebody trying to hack. Then, once the right person gains access, you need to make sure that the data that goes in is correct. So our screen aids and our program checks are going to ensure that. So the following screen aid is the screen must be formatted to look like the hard copy master file amendment form. Now that it looks like that, I can have any other of those screen aids. Maybe mandatory field, Selecting the customer. To add the data to the master file. Maybe they can have drop down arrow. For credit terms that have been authorized. Prompts must assist them with this input. What kind of program checks could there be? There could be alphanumerical. So you can only put in letters for the customer's name and numbers for the customer number. size for the credit limit and sign for the credit limit. Range for the terms. Sequence check. 
before the master file amendment forms. But this is the sequence check for the computerized master file amendment form. Okay, you can add any others that could be relevant. And then I need to have output controls. So when I look at the input controls, I could have a exception report for where someone with the incorrect username or password was able to access the master file. I need to have a log of all of the changes that were actually made. Okay, so I'm going to say log of all master file amendments made for adding customers and exception reports for unauthorized master file amendment access and then there's still a manual control that needs to be done and that's the reconciliation of the hard copy master file amendment form to the log of the amendments done to make sure it was done through accurately. Okay, so guys, you can see now that these controls are going to ensure that all master file amendments get processed, that they get processed with the correct information and there are no fictitious. If we just have a look at the solution guys, I just want to show you it's been set up to first show the manual controls, the input controls and then the output controls. So just to show how you should be thinking when actually designing these controls. There's your manual controls over the hard copy documents, pre-numbered and authorized. Your input controls, first access, and then the screen aids and all the different program checks that could be available. Then our output controls, our logs, exception reports, and reconciliation. Okay, look at the layout. That's the thought process I want you guys to be following. Okay, now we are finished with computers, let's go into the new work.